It's what we call the fundamental problem. It's a fundamental problem because fundamentally everybody has it. It is also universal. That's the universal. Inherently it's there and everybody has it. Okay. So what does that mean? There is a lot, a lot, a lot of ways to go about explaining this. But for these purposes, we'll start with just the mind. And in dealing with situations beyond your control, you can adjust your attitude because, and this is the, the reasons, I'll just start going through them in a, in a bit, but just to say that this is again, you have no choice. Your back is up against the wall. You're between a rock and a hard place. So, and you cannot seem to take any action, again, seeing what we're seeing now, and yet, so what do you do? <laughs> Can't do anything. So it begins, technically it begins and ends with how you think. But how is it that you should think? So you first should understand you have the ultimate say over your mind and how you think no matter what the situation. So you have the choice. You can decide, you can take a look at the way you think, and this requires a certain objectivity, but you take a look at the way you think and recognize, I don't have to think the way I think. I can think a different way. Anybody can do this. And what way would you like to think? In a way, obviously, that benefits you, as we'll see. So when you realize that as you think, so you become, you obviously want to think in ways that work best for you. Duh, everybody wants that. Why? Because why would I think any other way? So therefore, thinking needs to be adjusted. Thinking means I want it to work for me. And I further understand that here as it translates, every action begins with a thought because even brushing your teeth, for instance, you have a thought before you do it. So every action begins with a thought and also, this is the other thing, that actions actually speak louder than words. People can say one thing, but the actions actually reveal the true thoughts of the person. So this is, you know, it, you have to be paying attention, but this is really people, as they perform actions, they may be saying one thing, but doing something else. And we see the disconnect. And the disconnect ultimately is harmful to them because they, they become disjointed. And when you're disjointed in that way, you can't be really happy because you're disjointed. Anyway, the point here is that as you think, so you become. And I want my thinking to be in line with my actions so that there isn't that disconnect. And the other thing is that when you load up your mind with words that provide a clear vision of the big picture situation, you are better equipped to face whatever challenges come before you. Okay, so that's a little bit of a jump, but what we're saying here is you, have, you obviously have to think, think in a, a way that's benefiting you. So how do you do that? You load up your mind. Load up your mind with thoughts. What kind of thoughts? Well, here, it happens to be what we call the big picture situation, looking at thoughts beyond the, in the ordinary context. We'll see a little bit more about that in just a bit. And that does what? It gives you the ability to face challenges because it takes you out of your small little sphere. And everybody gets stuck in their small little spheres, especially when you are, uh, what, hunkered down when you are stuck in one place with not a lot of freedom of movement. Naturally, the world gets smaller. And so, or it gets circumscribed in certain ways. So with that, this big picture further means that, it's basically what I was just saying, but reiterated in this context, I realize that my mind needs to expand beyond its normal and circumscribed ways of thinking. We all have these tendencies to get stuck in normal, you know, uh, patterns of thinking, we would call them. And a pattern of thinking is not bad if it doesn't harm you. But generally, it tends to create uh, challenges because 
if it's a negative thought, you get stuck in a negative pattern of thinking and it just goes around in that way and everything gets put in or teed up or matched up with that thinking, what's going to happen? Negative mindset. With a negative mindset, then what? You are the one who is the recipient of all that thinking. You're going to be miserable, negative. So, and in the common parlance, it means that big picture means gaining a larger view and or not getting stuck in a fishbowl perspective or not missing the forest because of the trees or expanding to the 30 foot view from the three foot view and so on. You should get the idea from this that thinking has to expand, but thinking also needs to be somehow or other uh, addressed and, and, and um, modified in such a way that A, it's, A, it makes sense, B, it's palatable, and C, it actually will work. So I need to be willing to let go of entrenched thinking and explore what greater possibilities are right in front of me if I shim simply shift how I look at myself, the world, and all that I hold dear. Okay, so this is where Krishna is going with Arjuna. He's going to shake him up a little bit and say, you need to, this is where you need to shift. And this is an objective review wherein I can discover the valid ways of thinking, but let go of the other other thoughts that confine and restrict me. And again, somebody says, well, <laughs> what sounds a little nebulous. How exactly does that work? Well, again, with these verses that we're going to be looking at, that's the wherewithal that helps you to shift. So you need something outside of your ordinary course of thinking. That's what the Bhagavad Gita can do. And in uh, verses all over it, but just the verses as we focus on them today, they can help to give you that grip on your own mind to the extent that you need it and to the extent that you think that you could use a little bit of mind expansiveness to really see something that gives you the ability to function and face the uncertainty of what we're looking at now. So it is similar to embracing new technology, but always with an objective approach so that I can accept what works and keep an open view to its other possibilities. So it's the thing of you're going, you're going in a direction that is kind of like exploring space, you know, going into space, that's expanding. And of course, it's kind of scary and uncertain. So here, the inner space is even more challenging, I would submit. See, people think that going out and exploring is very, very scary and, uh, you know, daunting and uncertain. But I would say, heck, you know, if you can turn and look at your own mind and see what's going on in there, because we all know some of the things the mind can get up to, it's, uh, you know, you got a grip on, the, on that mind, then anything else is gravy in comparison. 